Ghana's reputation as an example of a thriving democracy, despite its challenges, cannot be questioned. Since the advent of the 1992 constitution, we have witnessed eight elections, each aggressively and tightly contested by the two main political parties, the National Democratic Congress, which I belong to, and the New Patriotic Party. Three of these elections resulted in peaceful transfer of power from the incumbent government to the opposition, while in five, the incumbent was retained. This commendable record can be attributed to several reasons, including the credibility, particularly during its early years when IPAC was very functional, there was consensus building and discussion and all that. However, and um, the previous speaker alluded to the issue with public institutions. And he said it was a perception, but let me refer to some statistics. The Afrobarometer Round 9 survey in Ghana, 2022, conducted by the Center for Democratic Development, shows that the credibility of our electoral commission and the trust reposed in them by the people of Ghana has diminished. And why do I say so? The following question was put to the population surveyed, and I quote, how much do you trust each of the following? Or you haven't heard enough to say, the electoral commission. Only 9.8% of the population said they trusted the EC a lot, compared to 20.8 in 2019. 22.7 said they somewhat trusted the EC, compared to 32.1% in 2019. 27.3% said they trust the EC just a little, compared to 22.2% in, 22 in 2019. 0.5% said they don't know whether they trust the EC, compared to 7.7 .7 in the 2019 report. And 39.7% said they don't trust the EC at all, compared to 18.9 in 2019. As an ordinary citizen relying on this data, I can safely conclude that there is an increase in public mistrust of the Electoral Commission. Such a decline of public trust is indeed worrying in an election cycle where the incumbent NPP claims they'll break the eight. And we in the NDC have unequivocally and clearly stated that do or die, we will win the December 2024 20, elections.